What up, YouTube? Bigaloo and Bigaloo's Coach Review back again with another review, and that's right, today we're here to do a little review on the Raz TN9000. Now, I already know all you guys out there are like, oh my god, the mech god, what is he doing? He's vaping a disposable. Well, I'm going to tell you a quick little story, okay? There's this thing that happened probably about six years ago where, they're, where they banned vaping flavors just about 80% of the country. Yeah, New York was like one of the first three or four. So yeah, it's been a while since vape shops out here carry fresh ISO certified e-liquids that have been made within recent days. So a lot of the stuff that you find on the black market in stores and under the counter is usually expired and crappy, but the price is now since doubled. So now you're paying twice the amount of money for garbage, okay? so. I don't want to hear anything from anybody saying, oh, how dare Big Lou use disposables? That's it. I'm burning all my vaping gear. Such bull, okay? If you were in my situation, you would adapt too. Now, I started vaping just to quit smoking. That's what I did. I started vaping to quit smoking. And I successfully stopped smoking. And I continued to vape, which is good, okay? I guess that's a positive. It's... You know, I guess the ultimate would be to stop smoking and stop vaping altogether. And this way you're 100% safe. But then you got to walk around with a mask on for the rest of your life. Because just breathing the exhaust fumes from all these cars, trucks, and commercial traffic and everything is enough to kill anybody. Okay? So I'm just going to continue vaping since I like it so much. However, vaping is very difficult here in New York to come across. So although I still like my mechanical mods, I just recently bought this 30 millimeter uh, Asgard in black and gunmetal. 30 millimeter, I got it sitting on top of the Lycan mod by Immortal Mods. Yes, Immortal Mods. I know that company that everyone hates for whatever reason. You know what I hated? I hated the vape scene. That's what I hated. I hated the vape scene. There was so many posers in the vape scene that literally everybody became so, oh, I can't support this one. I can't support that one. You know what? It's retards like you that destroyed this industry. That's the honest truth. Because nobody, everybody, we were not unified. Everybody was separate. Everybody was in their own little gangs and their own little groups and everything. It became ridiculous. I, I'm an adult male. I had to pull away from all that. You know what I mean? I still vape these devices regardless of what anybody says. I still purchase liquid on the black market because that's what I'm forced to do. And sometimes st buying stuff on a black market doesn't necessarily mean it's good. It just means it's available. Okay. Now, vaping on disposables, however, I'm all for this. I'm all for disposables. And I'll tell you why. Because this is still turning smokers into vapors. And that's something I should, I'm, I'm pretty proud of. I'm actually proud of it. It's not my vaping style per se, because I like three milligram and I like blowing big clouds and all that. However, this is more convenient. I found vaping these kind of disposables. I know it started with the elf bars and all that other stuff like that, but the nicotine was always too harsh for me. I never could really enjoy those disposables. There's only like a few companies out there that have a good nicotine that I like vaping. Monkey bars, that's one. Um, the geek vapor ones, not so much. They're a little harsh on my throat. So I don't, I'm not a huge fan to the geek vapor ones. I like the flavorings that they're using and the flavor profiles are great. They're just a little too harsh for my throat. But this company here, Raz, awesome flavor profiles. Awesome throat hit. The throat hit is not too harsh. It's totally doable, totally comfortable. And I'm happy with that. Now, uh, just to bring something else to your attention, there is a site called eJuice DB, eJuice database, where you could actually pick up this product. Now, this is only $15.95, this product. I don't have any coupon codes because I'm not a famous vapor anymore. Okay, I'm just some guy that's just posting a review right now. Just because I haven't posted a review in a while. So I'm not famous. I don't get any money. I'm not making any kickbacks. I don't have coupon codes or anything like that. So to be honest, if you go to the site and buy it, it's all on you. It has nothing to do with me. Okay, I'm just putting the information out there. If you're looking to buy a product, eJuice DB, good site. They got a lot of cool disposable stuff. They actually have 
These, I think, in, I think they're 25,000 puff count, which now that's what people are doing. This is a 9,000 puff count. This comes with an HD display. So when you take a drag, it lights up. It says RAS, and you may not see it right now, but there's a, a battery level, and then there's also a juice level telling you how much juice is left in the device, which I thought was pretty cool. They have a Type-C charger underneath, which I also thought was a... I like Type-C chargers because they don't break like the mini USBs like they did it back in the day. And then you also have an airflow control. Now, I ripped my airflow control out of this because I like the tinker, and I like more of a direct-to-lung hit. Still vapes nice, still not harsh in the throat at all. That hit was very smooth. Uh, I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm demonstrating it to you. Now, there is a little switch on the bottom for air, airflow control. I'm going to try and bring it as close as I can to put it in focus for you. Right on the bottom, there is a little airflow control and a Type-C charger cable port. Now, uh, cool factor number two, I'm going to put somewhere over here a little video of up close and personal of uh, female hands looking at this device so you can at least see what the device looks like up close because I'm not going to do an up close portion to this video I'm just going to upload it over here okay and the eJuice DB website we are going to check it out we're just going to breeze through it real quick I just want to show you what they have on their site this way if you do buy something on there you know you just found out from me and that's it you know and then you're like oh Big Lou said we should go check out eJuice DB then you go to the site and you're like, oh, wow, they got this. No way, I'll pick this up. Oh, no way, they got this. I'll pick this up. Who knows? You never know. You know, this, this lifestyle, we're all about word of mouth, okay? But I'm going to tell you this. What I am happy about is that smokers are still transitioning into vapors, even with product like this. You know, it was difficult working in a vape shop back in the day and having people walk in and there's all mech mods and RDAs and RTAs and telling smokers that they now have to build a coil on a deck. These people, they just wanted to, they wanted to stop smoking, you know? And we were putting them in these complex devices, and they're like, what the hell, what am I going to do? And we're like, oh, it's easy, just fill it with juice, and then buy batteries, and now you got to buy a charger for the batteries, and this and that. It was, even though we transitioned a lot of people from smoking to vaping, it, it didn't really matter in a sense, because... They would use it for a short term. They get fed up with all the mechanics involved. Whereas something like this, they just buy it, rip open the bag, and then put it in their mouth, and they start puffing it. And they're like, wow, that was easy. And they put a Type-C charger in to charge it. And they're like, wow, that's simple. This is so easy. Anybody could do this, you know? So I'm all for disposables for that factor. On the flip side of things, disposables can and has destroyed this market. Okay, there's still some people coming out with mechanical tube mods. Kennedy is still making them under, you know, undercover on a black market. Kennedy Mods is making RDAs and Max and so forth. And Vapors Cloud, you know, they got their uh, their box designs. Their, uh, you know, those little boxes. I mean, Vapor Bogan's got like four boxes, stubbies and all that other stuff. So. And, you know, I'm proud of Vaping Bogan. He's gone very far. I would say he went very far in the vape industry from starting off from being a vape reviewer in his house in Australia to now living in the UK and having a house or an apartment in the UK and still traveling the world, going to vape shows with Vape Capital just to push the vape, uh, not vape capital, uh, vapors cloud to push their product out there. So he gets flown all over the world. So that's an amazing life. So I'm very, very proud and happy for the vaping Bogan. He's an awesome guy, really, really awesome guy. And you know, it's nice to see Nick Green and all those other guys are still doing it. Oh boy, OC. And just a quick shout out to Oh boy, OC. The man has got the very best strawberry custard in the world. I don't care. Anybody else out there that makes strawberry custard, your strawberry custard sucks. Oh boy, OC's got the best strawberry custard. If you can find that, pick that up. Trust me, on the black market, it's totally worth that juice, right? So if you if you can find it, buy it and definitely vape it if you're still dripping, okay? Love that juice. But um, all in all, though, the Raz product, the TN 9000, 9000 puffs, HC display, rechargeable, long-lasting battery, long-lasting long 
juice capacity well. Very, very impressed with the product. Uh, have purchased three products already. The, the Ruby Red, the Blueberry Watermelon, and the Blue Raspberry Cotton Clouds. That's what it's called. Blue Raz Cotton Clouds. This one, which is, it's, it's also very good. So, uh, the Blueberry Watermelon and the Ruby Red. The Ruby Red is nice. It's uh, the Dream Edition, they call it. So, when you take a puff of this one, you get all these purple and pink hearts that flutter all over the screen. Not that I can care about any of that, but whatever. It's the Dream Edition. I just like it because it has a good draw. Decent vapor production, I got to say, for a disposable, that's, that's pretty impressive for a disposable. Good vapor production, and you know what? Good flavors. I got to say they have some really strong flavors. A lot of companies are in competition with these guys because their flavoring profiles are just awesome. So if you can, check out ejuicedatabase.com. I'll put a link somewhere up here if it's possible on YouTube without getting it deleted or, uh, or whatnot. And that's it. I plan on posting more videos soon. But just bear with me. I know I say that. But uh, I posted some video with some bad audio quality. I think maybe this might even have some bad audio quality. I apologize. I'm buying a new microphone in a process. And, you know, stuff like that don't come cheap. Okay? And that's about it. So I'll talk to you. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out. Laters.